Hey, today I'm here to show you how to host a website on your own computer. It's easier than it sounds, but is it worth it? There's something exciting about spinning up your own WordPress site, watching it come to life from scratch, and maybe even thinking, hey, could I host this myself instead of paying someone? That thought always crosses people's minds at some point, and I get it. Why use shared hosting when you have a perfectly good computer sitting there plugged in doing almost nothing? Well, there are at least a couple of reasons that you're gonna know after watching this tutorial, but now let's talk through how to host a site locally with WordPress using a free tool called Local WP. Now, it's perfect for building and testing your site without messing with a live one. And along the way, I'm gonna explain why I don't host a website on my own machine and why I stick with a service like Hostinger for anything that needs to be online 24 seven. If you wanna do that too, just grab my Hostinger discount for premium yet cheap web hosting by scanning this QR code or click the link in the description. First, just head over to the local WP website and grab the free download. It works on Mac OS, Windows, and even Linux if you're using something Debian based. Installing it is straightforward on all major operating systems. On a Mac, you're just gonna open the downloaded DMG file and drag local into your applications folder. On Windows, just run the EXE and follow the prompts saying yes to Windows Defender when it asks. If you're on Linux, you can double click on the .deb file or run a quick terminal command to install it. I'll admit, I haven't messed much with Linux myself, but hey, it's cool, they support it. All right, next for this how to host website guide, open up local. You might be asked to create an account or log in, but that's optional. Once you're in, you're gonna land on a dashboard that's gonna eventually show all the local WordPress sites you're working on. It's a clean interface and gives you access to some neat tools like SSL support, database browsers, and even WP CLI if you're into that. All right, so to create a website, just click the big create a new site button, name your site, and local will automatically generate a local domain based on that name. Then choose your environment. There's a preferred option that gives you a preset PHP, MySQL, and server settings, which is great if you don't wanna mess with tech details. Or you can go custom and choose your own PHP version web server, Apache or Nginx, and database version if you know what you're doing. After that, set your WordPress login info, username, password, email, and click add site. Local's gonna take care of downloading and installing WordPress for you. Now, at this point, you've got a working WordPress site running right on your computer. Pretty sweet. You can log into the admin area or visit the site front end just like you would with any normal website. This is awesome for testing out themes, building out content, or playing with plugins without risking anything live. But here's the thing. Just because it works on your local machine doesn't mean it's ready to be your actual website. Hosting a site from your PC means keeping your machine on 24 seven, configuring your firewall, router, dynamic DNS, SSL, backups, security updates, and hoping your power or internet doesn't go out. Yeah, that's a lot of responsibility for your PC and you. I can, I can hardly imagine it being online for 99.9%, .9%, which is standard for premium hosting providers like Hostinger, because one hiccup and your site vanishes. That's why, despite how cool this is for development, I don't even try to use my own computer for real hosting. I just use a shared hosting service from Hostinger instead because they handle all that backend stress and just let me focus on my site. If you wanna do that as well, this is your reminder that I have Hostinger discounts. Just scan this QR code or click the link in the description to get it too. All right, but if you still wanna go the old school way on how to host a website and rely on the bad boy from your bedroom, Let's continue and go back to local. There are some great features to explore here. One of my favorites is Live Links. It gives you a temporary public link so you can share your site with someone even though it's hosted locally. There's also one-click SSL to enable HTTPS for secure testing, database tools like Adminner, and even SSH or WP CLI access if you like working from the command line. And if you use Flywheel or WP Engine, Local has built-in tools to push and pull sites between your local machine and the host. Now, sometimes things do go a little sideways with personal hosting. On Windows, the download step might hang, often due to firewall or VPN settings, so try turning those off or switching networks. And occasionally, Local might feel slow or buggy. In that case, switching PHP versions can help, or you might wanna try lightweight alternatives like Laragon if you're on Windows. So Local WP is a great way to build website and test it safely on your computer. But when it comes to go live, 
I don't wanna be the one fixing things at midnight when my site goes down. That's why I move everything to a proper host. It's faster, more secure, and it just works. And honestly, the few dollars a month are worth saving me hours of troubleshooting. So grab the Hostinger discount from the description if you feel the same way, and let me know if you want a step-by-step -step guide on moving your local site to a live host site. All right, that covers my tutorial of hosting your own website. I hope it helped. And if it was too much or you decide to go with a reliable host, once again, the link is in the description. And if you wanna watch how to host a website with Hostinger, I've got a tutorial for that on my channel as well. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.